five cacti. Now this is a video collaboration with my wonderful friend Rachel at Gardening at Duenza here on YouTube. And if you're not familiar, familiar with Rachel's amazing channel, you have to go over and check her out and subscribe to her. She has incredible, very informative videos on amazing gardening and also beautiful house plants as well. So thank you, Rachel, for asking me to do this video collaboration. Now, me and Rachel are going to be talking about our top five cacti together. And Rachel's going to include two of hers into this video and two of mine in Rachel's video. So you have to go over to Rachel's video to see my other two and vice versa, so it's going to be very fun. And first one, I'm going to start off with number five. Now, number five is Parodia Magnifica. And uh, this is my very old, I've had it about 25 years old, Parodia Magnifica here. And what I love about this cactus, it's very easy to get from a lot of garden centres, so it's easily available. It's an absolutely beautiful bloomer spring and summer and even into the early autumn as well it will be produce multiple blooms a gorgeous golden yellow color it's also very easy to care for as well give it a sunny spot and it will bloom prolifically all through the spring and summer as long as you keep it fairly dry during the winter time and at a minimum temperature of about five celsius 41 degrees fahrenheit then that will encourage more blooming in the summer time so i highly recommend that cactus very beautiful cactus to grow i also love the way the patterning of the spine arrangement is on this parodia magnifica it's absolutely beautiful plant even when it's out of flower the spination is absolutely breathtaking so it looks absolutely beautiful whether you have it inside the house or in your greenhouse so now we go to rachel's channel rachel it's over to you hello i'm rachel from the gardening at duense youtube channel and I'm here to tell you about my fourth favourite cactus and I think it's quite fitting that my fourth favourite is one that Lynn gifted to me some six years ago I believe. Anyway it's this one called the uh, Callisto cactus winterii or the rat golden rat tailed cactus and I think if you look closely you can see why it has that name. So this is a columnar cactus and it tends to hang down and make quite an elegant specimen over time. Many people grow this one in a hanging basket and if you look closely here you can see that this one that lives in my greenhouse has actually been <laughs> It's been visited by slugs. There are some kind of shiny marks there where the slugs have passed over it. My goodness, you know, <laughs> slugs aren't meant to tolerate this kind of spiny environment, but that must be just a myth. This plant is covered with small golden spines and it really is quite prickly. You don't want to get too close, but what I really love about this plant, besides its very elegant form and drooping habit, is the fact that it flowers reliably for me. So it gets a dry, cool rest in my greenhouse in winter where it's kept at a minimum of five degrees which is 41 degrees fahrenheit and then in spring it kicks off with beautiful largish salmon flowers that open really quite wide they have fingers of petals all the way around and it's just a joy to see it also flowers during the summer as well i've had these blooms later in the season and i just absolutely love it for that now they call this the golden rat tail cactus but i don't think it looks like a rat at all and if i just hold it close so that you can see if you catch this plant out of the corner of your eye you might be forgiven thinking that it's a giant spider especially the way the arms kind of hang down and <laughs> I don't like spiders at all so when I catch that out of the corner of my eye I do a double take like ah! and then oh no actually it looks furry it looks soft it is actually quite beautiful so I guess there's a kind of a, a, an inner debate that goes on whenever I see it but it is a beautiful cactus easy to grow as well so finally in terms of care this plant is one i grow in full sun in my greenhouse if you have it in your house put it on a sunny south facing windowsill ensure that it dries out completely between waterings and then give it lots and a cool dry winter rest and really 
minimum temperature of five degrees and this is a quite easy cactus to grow which I highly recommend. So now we move on to my third favorite cactus and it is this one it's a mammillaria now mammillaria is an enormous enormous group and there is such variety in it for example this little guy here that we see behind is also a mammillaria and looks quite quite different from this but it's also an easy group and this is one that i've had for seven years it has flowered reliably every year and just basically it's a gorgeous little thing this is a single stemmed cactus with crowded tubercles bearing two to three spines it's elongated and cylindrical and in spring it produces a little ring of flowers around the top of the plant almost like a halo the flowers are pinkish purple and small and they really look quite dinky on the head of the plant However, sometimes some of mine do blast. Again, I love this plant because it's easy to take care of and it's a reliable flower. Now it does have spines, unfortunately, they are there, but if you give it the dry, cool rest, then you should be guaranteed flowers the following year. And in terms of care, exactly the same as my other cacti, very low maintenance. And if you've got a bright, sunny windowsill in your house, then really it is one that you can't go wrong with and here's a fun fact many cactuses are referred to as seroid or just simply serious and this is a term that describes a growth pattern in a cactus where it just extends up and is very tall and often very spiny but this term is just a little bit confusing because Sirius is also a genus of cactuses. So go figure. <laughs> In any case, I'm going to leave you now and I want you to have a look now at Lynn's top two cactuses. Can't wait to see what they are. And when you're finished, maybe you'll come over to my channel and check out the rest of the video. Bye. Thank you so much, Rachel. So now I'm on my number two and that will be Slumbergia truncata, commonly known as the Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus. This is a very popular cactus to grow, especially around the Christmas time. Very um, easy bloomer as well. And what's good about Slumbergia is that they don't need to have direct sunlight like the typical desert cacti do. So they're ideal to grow inside the house. They make beautiful, beautiful flowers during the, the holidays around the Christmas period. And again, they're very easy to get from a lot of garden centres as well, especially around the holiday time. Very, very lovely cactus. This one here is, is my 70 year old, possibly 70 year old Slumbergia. And this was gifted to me probably about 15 years ago from a gentleman who'd had it for 25 years. He'd also got it from a lady who had it 25 years. So you can imagine the age of this cactus. And I highly recommend this one as a cactus to grow because it's very easy to care for as well. And as I say, it's a bit of an old goldie uh, favourite that often, this is a very long living cactus as well, that can often go into many generations, a bit of a family heirloom as they say. So this one would definitely be my number two. Now number one would be Cleistocactus conodimonsis, commonly known as the monkey's tail cactus. And this is this beautiful cactus here. And one thing I absolutely love about this cactus, it is it's hairy. And the hair actually just feel like animal hair. It feels like you're, you're petting a cat or a dog. It's absolutely incredible. And this cactus is actually a very easy cactus to grow. It loves a sunny position, which is why it's covered in the white hairs to protect it from the, the high sun levels in its natural habitat. And it likes a little bit more moisture, especially during the spring and summer than the desert cacti do. So I keep this well watered from spring and summer. It also can take quite cool temperatures as well, a minimum of about five Celsius, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. And it has the most beautiful orange blooms, sort of towards the late summer time, absolutely gorgeous. And I just love the way it hangs down. It makes an incredible hanging basket. Gorgeous cactus to grow. Um, very unique as well with its hair and its appearance. Very beautiful. So that has to be one of my absolute favourites and definitely my number one. 
So thank you so much for watching guys. Now if you want to see my other two cactus plants that I also recommend in the top, then now you have to go to Rachel's channel to watch the other two there. And you'll also get to see Rachel's other top cactus plants she recommends as well. So it's going to be very fun. So do enjoy Rachel's video as well. And I want to wish you all a fantastic plant power day.